Cyclonic Storm by Paryoy 2023 Last Modified, 9 o'clock June 9, 2023 UTC This is a dangerous system. Damaging winds, heavy rainfall, storm surge, rough seas, mudslides, and flash flooding are all possible risks. Baiparyoi is located 1,032 km southeast of Masara Island, and has moved north-northeastward at 7 km per hour, 4 knots, over the past 6 hours. Baiparyoi is struggling to consolidate due to the persistent, moderate to high easterly wind shear. Moderate westward outflow and very warm sea surface temperatures have helped maintain the core convection and a weak overcast area. This wind shear is expected to relax within the next 12 to 24 hours, which should allow Baiparyoi to re-intensify to about 165 km per hour, 90 knots, in 36 hours as it tracks slowly poleward along the western edge of the subtropical ridge. After 36 hours, wind shear is forecast to increase with upper-level easterly strengthening south of a building ridge to the north. This is expected to produce a steady weakening trend over the next five days as the system continues to slowly track north-northwestward into the northern Arabian Sea. In general, deterministic guidance has come into better agreement with GFS and NAVGEM, in particular, aligned closer to the ECMUF and ECMUF ensemble mean solutions. However, there is still a 285 km cross-track spread in solutions at 3 days and a large 685 km cross-track spread in solutions at 5 days reflecting increasing uncertainty, low confidence, in the extended JTWC forecast track. The 09-00,00 UTC ECMUF and GFS ensembles are also better aligned but also reflect increasing uncertainty in the track forecast after 3 days. There is also medium confidence in the JTWC intensity forecast over the next three days with a large spread in reliable intensity guidance. HWRF shows a peak of 205 km per hour, 110 knots, in around 60 hours but is suspect due to its outlier track toward northern Oman. Several models have indicated and continue to show some potential for a short period of rapid intensification within the next 36 hours which has yet to materialize but remains possible if wind shear decreases. The Coamps DC ensemble shows increasing probabilities of rapid intensification from 60 to 90 percent during the next 36 hours. Maximum significant wave height is 6.7 meters, 22 feet.